Hi, I'm Juliet with Abel Cine in Burbank, and today I have Ben Hopkins with me of Human Interest. He's going to tell us a bit about the Thunder Station. Hey, Ben. Hi, Juliet. <laughs> so tell us what the Thunder Station is. Well, the Thunder Station is, imagine with me for a moment, you're on set, you're doing a digital cinema production, and no matter what the camera is, you still have to be able to acquire all that data, do dailies on set, a lot of what a DIT or a data manager is asked to do today. And so you've got a Mac Pro tower, you've got your external monitor, you've got um, your mouse or keyboard, all these things plugged into it. Imagine all of that packed down into the size of a shoebox. And that's what you have with Thunder Station. Very cool. So, yeah, it is it is cool because what it's doing is it's leveraging Thunderbolt technology with any laptop that has Thunderbolt, any computer that has Thunderbolt. It could be a Retina MacBook Pro like mm -hmm. this. It could be a MacBook Air. It could be a Mac Mini or a uh, iMac. So uh, we like to do this in our configuration a lot, to save space on a cart. Go ahead and set up a Retina MacBook Pro and um, be able to do our workflow on set. Just like this? Yeah. Nice. So what's inside this and what kind of connectors do you have on here? Well, um, so the Thunderbolt Thunder Station, I'll turn that towards you a little bit, the, the main thing that this has, I think, that's going to surprise people right away is, you know, well, of course it's got PCIe cards to be able to get in and out data from certain camera formats, but it has internal RAID storage. Uh, there's a RAID controller card in here running 3 terabytes of RAID 5, and that's significant because not only can you get your data in fast, it's secure. If you lose a drive, you haven't lost any of your data. Mm -hmm. So it also has um, the common I.O. ports that the... Uh, Apple laptop won't have it has USB 3 but we give you additional USB 3 ports and we also give you eSATA ports so the Thunder Station is somewhat configurable because it does have card slots this configuration right here has a 10 gigabit Ethernet card in it for fiber optic connection to a uh, city station for the phantom high-speed camera workflow uh, so with the flex 4k coming out that'll be a copper rj45 connection so um, there are multiple configurations but you have those basic ones that you need for all the different outboard recorder formats and the camera formats and their card readers let me give you a few examples here of some workflow so this is the sony sr memory reader it's the srd1 and it connects to a computer via eSATA or USB 3. So both of those options are on the Thunder Station. So you can ingest this very quickly into the yeah. internal RAID. And USB 3 up there, yeah. eSATA right next to it. Exactly. Okay. And there's also USB 3 on board right. any Mac, uh, Apple laptop. So, um, and what do you have over there? You've got... Uh, uh, so I've got a Thunderbolt uh, drive storage, here, yeah. and then that would just go... Right, so if you want to incorporate Thunderbolt storage, then you can just daisy chain into the Thunderbolt um, I.O. there. You also have an extra Thunderbolt port on the other side of a Retina MacBook Pro mm -hmm. or an iMac. So you have multiple options there. Yeah. Um, another thing is everyone has client drives that they need to get their data off to. So to answer the question, that's great, Ben. You can get it fast down into the internal RAID here. Um, but I need to get two copies of this out to my clients. So this is a, a common kind of a RAID 0 drive with both eSATA and USB and FireWire 800. All of those ports will work uh, on this system, and you can very quickly get it off. Uh, and another neat thing about this is um, my RAID card here has SAS as well. So we can use a SAS um, external breakout cable to eSATA and put an additional four eSATA drives on here. So right. that's actually a very powerful feature right there. So this is really geared towards, well, anyone really. I mean, it's pretty universal. You can do phantom text, DITs, digital loaders, right? It is. Uh, it's it's um, very flexible, not only for the camera formats, but because of that, anyone who's going to be touching any of the kind of data um, so this configuration of Phantom Tech that's doing mostly Phantom jobs uh, might very well want to have one of these so they can set it up quickly and get through their workflow fast. Um, a DIT who may already have a tower and all of that, those aren't always practical, and especially as we're moving towards Thunderbolt and Apple is pushing us towards Thunderbolt technology, and even in their new Mac Pro that's coming out, mm -hmm. having an expansion chassis that has the I.O. gear that you need, um, this is a great way to go for that. Um, any kind of a data wrangler or um, even running gun small productions that's very important so you have less people and wearing more hats to have something simple and easy to understand that just sits on the top of a cart you already have 
so you can get your data ingested while you're shooting is very helpful. Even rental houses, they have, they have cameras that they want to support for their clients, an acquisition solution for that, it's, which is not too common for rental companies. You know, you mm-hmm. kind of pi- pioneered that, I think, with, uh, with this product here right. with us. So it's good for that you are able to offer this to your clients as well. And uh, so what makes this unique? Well, not only is it lightweight, small, and quick and easy to set up, and I will emphasize that in, in another way by saying you can just get this set up so much quicker than a tower, which still may have a little bit more horsepower slightly, mm-hmm. um, but you're going to get through your workflow because you, quicker because you're getting into it quicker with this, and I love taking this out on the set because of that. Another unique aspect uh, about the Thunder Station is that um, it's not just an I.O. box. It can be, um, but for those who want to use it to do dailies on set and transcoding workflow, uh, because of the plethora of Thunderbolt products in the market, like one of my favorite, this is the Ultra Studio Mini Monitor from Blackmagic. Uh, I can just, on my Retina Mac Pro, come off of the second Thunderbolt port here Mm -hmm. and out to an SDI reference monitor, which is what I do. So you can see this is running Resolve now, Mm -hmm. and I can grade that for my uh, DP, for my client, right on a nice 24-inch monitor that I have, and then be able to run the dailies off of that. Great. Thank you so much for showing us this yeah. today. Yeah, you bet. Uh, that is the Thunder Station from Human Interest, and you can find that for rent or sale from Able City. Thanks for watching.